Hey y'all and welcome back to another video by Umbra's Darkness. In today's video, I want to talk about the update on the Groundhog that happened last Groundhog, uh, but we've finally been able to see the final results. And I want to brag about my Naya Cupcake, uh, and then I want to talk about the update that just happened today. Or today for me, yesterday for the game. So yeah, without uh, further ado, let's get into it. First off, congratulations, Naya Cupcake now has a singular nine-star insect. Uh, so there we go. Uh, the Locust is back to seven-star. We're able to get uh, ninth chest on Gathering Day uh, with the Locust. So, uh, you know, uh, with the seven-star Locust and the Groundhog skin, we, I believe we were able to do it with the six-star Locust and the Groundhog skin. Uh, so we are getting back there. We're getting the creature remains. So all all is good. Uh, on the groundhog note, uh, you can see at 1500, uh, 1500 game time, Naya Cupcake, Nine Star Mantis, 0800, Eight Star Mantis, Attack damage difference, not significant. Uh, this doesn't make sense to me. The boost from nine, eight star to nine star is supposed to be like a significant change because you're increasing special ed damage. Uh, so I'm kind of wondering if they nerfed like overall special ant damage. Um, the formation we were using obviously is just the only three ants uh, Naya has built, which is Acid General, Golden Armor, Jack Jumper, um, but I just, the damage is so similar in between 0, 0800 and 1500. Um, the sample size obviously is only what, like 12 attacks, uh, at 1500, but still 110 to 85. There's even a 67,000 damage, 90,000, 110, like, I don't know. Nine star orange insect used to mean something. It doesn't feel like it does right now. Uh, on that note, let's get farther in depth about what Groundhog is now. So, uh, thank you at Stan 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 inside my Discord. You can see here, this is the Groundhog. Uh, this is yesterday. Uh, yesterday for me, two days ago for in game time. 89,000 uh, damage pretty consistently. This is level eight unboosted guardians. Uh, we use them because there, there's no crits. Typically, as you can see, all three rows, same amount of damage, very consistent, uh, very hard to get, uh, outlier damage, um, and easy to get a sample size. Then you use Golden Spiny with skill 5, level 1, only unlocked, and the damage goes up significantly from Guardians, about 15,000, and that is solely because, uh of Spiny's break, de break defense uh, skill on skill five. The, guard the Groundhog has defense again, you guys. Uh, what this means for us, Golden Sugar is good. Uh, a common f comp for my uh, server was Golden Sugar, Golden Armor, Jack Jumper, Golden Sugar, uh, Jack Jumper, Reap Master, Golden Sugar, Gold... Golden Armor, if two star, Reap Master. Um, Golden Armor is probably the best DP, is mathematically the best DPS ant universal uh, once it's two star higher for a universal ant. Uh, so, yeah. The best hit that I've seen, though, and what multiple servers were saying was like the highest out overall damage um, was. Golden Armor, Jack Jumper, Reap Master. Uh, the highest score I've seen is Mikna. He's from server 174. Um, he's from my old server. Great guy. He's like the whale of the game. Or not of the game, but of that server for me. Uh, he's an amazing person. Really generous. Really, really willing to uh, be kind and gentle. Uh, and willing to share stats and stuff that not everyone is. So here you can see what his attack stats are. His defense stats his special ant, all that is. Um, so if you have any questions about that, and if anyone's seen anything higher, I would love to see it. 
Again, his score, 172 million. 172 mil. So, I would love to know if someone else does. Please share it inside of Discord. The scores are not going to change, you guys. This is the new Groundhog. It has defense. It's different. It's interesting. I don't like it at all. Uh, and that's what we're about to talk to, to next. So... With this, uh, Golden Sugar, again, has a place and everything else. Uh, what I don't like about this is they changed something uh, where the ant type deals significantly more damage than it used to. Um, and the special ants deal less. Again, you can kind of see that from Naya's 8-star to 9-star, where it didn't significantly change the damage, even though it got that special ant damage boost. Again, that shouldn't work that way. That doesn't make sense. That's not logical. Nine star should be a significant damage boost. And it just wasn't, you guys. Um, so with this, uh, shooters are typically doing about 20 mil higher than carriers. Uh, my account's not perfect. I'm not the highest whale. I just started spending again. I don't spend much. I spend like $6 on germ day and gene day right um i'm not spending a whole lot but um it's about 20 mil less when i was top five before this groundhog update so or competing for top five right top seven um as a carrier main anti uh used to do more damage with carriers than he did with shooters he has both of them at the same spot and he now consistently does about 20 to 30 mil higher with shooters over carriers. Again, I think that this shows just how significant the nerf was to special ant skills, uh, along with my wife's Naya's uh, change in damage from 8 star to 9 star not deep being as impactful on the Groundhog. The uh, last change of Groundhog, uh, because of the skill 8 nerf that they did not announce in-game and that they shadow nerfed, uh, Igmatic Taylor, Dark Giant, uh, Ig Igmatic Taylor, and Banshee Velvet, Trash again, Shellum, whatever, they're not good. Uh, their skill 8 doesn't do enough. It's better to go in there with either a defense break like Golden Sugar and then two DPS or all three DPS as we saw in the best battle report that I've seen. So there you have it, you guys. That's all the updates with Groundhog and what they did last Groundhog. That's all we've found with the Nerd Herd so far. Um, throw out ET, throw out Banshee Velvet, add in Golden Sugar for a consistent 150 mil if you're high up like this, right? Or just better scores, more consistent, throw in... Uh, Reap Master, if you're looking for some RNG high score to try and get first place, right? If anyone has anything higher than 172 mil, I'd love to see it posted in my Discord. My Discord is on fire right now, you guys. I would love to see more. All right, now I want to get into the actual update itself. So if we go here, added the avatar decoration system. This is great, you guys. I love this. There's no, there's no benefit to having an avatar. There's no... Uh, discouragement to having an avatar is just to show off your account's achievements, right? No buff. If we go here, we go to buff detail, we scroll all the way down. It's even in here as having no buff. Beautiful. I love it. I love that there's no buff. I love it's purely, uh, purely like, purely for looking right, uh, and enjoying itself. So, uh, to me, I love this frame. Uh, I think it goes really well with my picture. <laughs> I'm really excited for this one. This one you get from T10s. Uh, I think that it goes, it's really pretty, but I really, I like this one. I'm more of a simpleton. I think it goes really well with my picture of Reinhardt, this one, and Blaze down here. Um, and then for this one, Monster Chaser, uh, if we click on Source, it says own one eleven star insect to get rewards. Going back to Mikna, being willing to share things that not everyone would be willing to, right? Uh, you can clearly see he has the Monster Chaser, right? Right here, Monster Chaser. He has it equipped. He has it owned. If you look at his insects, remember the 10 star from the battle report that we just talked about? 
Uh, his 11 star is a blue locust. I love this, you guys. It means that free to play, you know, Joe Dirt can get a 10 star or an 11 star locust and get that frame. Love it. It's purely purely decorational. Does nothing for your account, but anyone can get it. I really like that. I was really afraid that I'd be locked underneath an 11 star orange insect. It's not, y'all. Blue insect got it. I'm so hyped. This game, like, I I don't expect much from this game. So when it gives us something like that, it makes me pretty happy. Um, so if we go back to the patch notes, uh, Duel of Queens started. I like it. They updated a bunch of things of the Duel of Queens. Uh, I'll probably be doing another video about it once we fully analyze everything they've changed in the Duel of the Queens. But uh, for the most part, the most important part is you can get out of bronze if you roll right uh, with one in one day. Uh, so I really like that they changed that. I enjoy the Duel of the Queens. I'm glad that they reopened it. It means that there's a free way to get germs again. I just ran out like three or four days ago running out of material to exchange for germs. So I'm really happy that that's open again and that we're back to grinding our germ data off. Uh, added the new Guardian Special Light and new Guardian Insect. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And then integrated the display of some stores. Sick. Beautiful. Um, that's it for this update, you guys. There's nothing else really to talk about. Not in the update, really. Force of Nature. Repeat. Repeat. Ornaments. Repeat skin. I like this. I'm a fan. I think this is great. I don't care what you have to say. This is my YouTube channel. It's my opinion. Haters gonna hate. I think that this is awesome, you guys. This gives... Newer servers a chance to catch up. This gives newer players a chance to get check, catch up. This gives free-to-play players a chance to get n old skins, right, that they weren't able to exchange because they don't get 100 generic fragments every single time. And pay-to-win players can either still buy it for all the rewards and exchange these to generic fragments and add them to their stars, right? Or they can just, like, kappa this and save $20 a week. Like, whatever they want to do. I think that this is great. I'm super happy. Uh, speculation, rumor, whatever you want to call it, has it that these are going to turn into fragments, right? So then old accounts like Naya, where they didn't get level 20 every week, uh, will be able to exchange five of the baby ornaments for level 20 ornaments that maybe they missed in the past. So free-to-play players, again, can catch up. Man, you guys... Talk about giving a dog a bone, right? That's two huge updates for for free-to-play. I'm hype. That's cool. I'm so proud of... I'm so proud of them. Like, you know... Uh, the last thing that was inside of the update, I forgot to mention. They now give losers something. Uh, there is a chance for the Defeated Warzone to get failure rewards. Y'all, they gave them something, you know? They gave them, they gave them some, some stuff. They didn't have to do this. They didn't have to make this update. Free-to-play players, no matter whether or not in a winning or losing server, now get 75 creature remains. Now get three purple eggs. Now have a chance at an additional orange egg. Now get 600 diamonds. Now get all of these free goodies. Are they great goodies? Are they perfect goodies? No. Does everyone want more? Yes. We're American. Well, I'm American and we're always greedy, right? Everyone always wants more than what they get. But this is awesome, you guys. Like, they didn't have to do this. They chose to do this. This system's been in place since basically the game was created, right? There's been tweaks, but to add on loser rewards when there's never been pity for that? I don't know, you guys. I think this is a step in the right direction. Those three things, huge. All right, now let's talk about the two things that, skirt, skirt, uh, bad, bad, you guys. Uh, new special ant, not inside of the hatch pool, right? So if you go to special ant, we go to hatch, we click on this, not that. We click on this, doesn't show up here, right? Uh, so do, does not show up here at all. That's unfortunate. It means it's going to be a pay-to-win ant. Uh, if I were a guessing man, 
I would assume that that ant is gonna be a hatchable ant. The reason that I assume that that ant is a hatchable ant is because in the past they've released ants that are hatchable that have been so far out. And, sorry, not hatchable, but a fragment ant. Um, and it's a class specific ant. So much like a Banshee Panda where they released Banshee Panda and then a month, two months later, they released the other two. I think they're going to do the same thing here. I am happier that it is a $100 ant than it is a $500 ant, hopefully. I would prefer this stay as a $100 ant. I do not want uh, class-specific ants, right, to be $100 or $500 ants. I don't think $500 ants should exist because in order to get skill 6, it's another $500. In order to get one star, it's another $500. And then if you guys don't know, skill one, skill five, skill eight, all require dupes. So that's $2,500 worth of ants in order to get that thing up to eight star. That's crazy. Crazy. Whereas this is $500 for five copies to get it all the way up to eight star. So like, I don't know, literally a fifth of the price, you guys. I don't know. You know? Uh, anyways, so I expect this new ant to be in here. I am very curious what they do about a guardian-specific insect. I honestly expect it to be in a shake tree. Uh, the greed of the game kind of makes me feel like the new special ant's going to be in the shake tree, too. I hope that they put uh, the other two ants inside of the shake tree. I hope they put... Uh, White Velvet and Brown Rogue inside of the Shake Tree. If they put Proata inside of the Shake Tree. And I hope if they put this Guardian exclusive insect inside of the Shake Tree. They also add the Crab inside of the Shake Tree. Because I want a Crab. I'm not even going to lie. I want a Crab. I might go for it. Um, yeah. But I hope it's not Shake Tree. I hope it's... I hope there's a different way to buy the insect. I hope it doesn't cost $500 for one 7 star insect. And I am kind of hopeful that there's a new shooter and carrier insect coming out too. And I'm really curious what those skills are, but there's nowhere to look. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So, but what we can look at is the new insect or the new, the new special ink. You guys, before we get into this, I already know the data uh, again. Give credit where credit is due. All of my Discord useful data sheets, you have credit for who posted it, right? Not necessarily who made it, but who posted it, right? Uh, Stan 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 made another DPS tier list. Again, he has a YouTube channel. Recommend you go check him out. Great guy, great person. He's in this Discord. Awesome human being. Really think you should go talk to him. Uh, mathematically correct D DPS tier list. Spoiler alert. New special ant, highest list, highest ant on it. And it's not just the highest ant win against shooters. Highest ant win against shooters. Highest ant win against carriers or other guardians. Then Shikari Master. I'm not kidding. Do you know how dumb that is? All right, let's get into what these sp skills are, you guys. All right, first off. This one, same as always. This one, little bit interesting, right? 865, we don't really see that. 35% in the middle, right? But if we compare that to like a Mimicry Master, 76% and 38 in the middle. So it's not like the new ones that are free to play. It's worse than that. But if we go down to Guard General, Guard General goes up to 70%, but he's 35% in the middle. So a little bit interesting, like lackluster. I, you know, kind of confused. I would have thought that they would have been like the new, you know, or maybe follow guard general exact, but he's just worse. He's just worse than guard general, 65%. Um, I, it makes no sense. Uh, I guess the other $500 ants the other $500 ants are like that, so maybe this is a sign that he's going to be a $500 ant. <laughs> because the other $500 ants are exactly like that. 
Uh, it's the same here. Um, if we look at skill six, right? Because uh, this is always important. 15% for attack and defense, 12% for ant uh, damage. That's great. Ant uh, attack is additive, damage is multiplicative. I love it. It brings it all up. I love it. It makes Guardians go on the offense a little bit. His skill 7 is insane too. It adds HP to Guardians. Guardians are really known for their defense. However, this ant uh, adds HP to the Guardians, which makes them a little bit more survivable. That was one of their downfalls earlier on. Um, but Guardians are viable now outside of just... Um, just this ant. Just so you guys are aware. Guardian shooter shooter. Guardian carrier carrier. Guardian guardian shooter. Guardian guardian guardian. All viable comps now. Guardians are good. You heard it here. I admit it. Guardians are good now. Uh, no tier list incoming explanation later. Um, okay. So let's get into the skills. First off. First skill. Knock back. Skill 10, level 10, that's where we're going to read at. We're going to look at level 10 uh, because that, that's really where you're going to get it to, right? Most players that are buying this type of ant are going to be able to get it to level 10 relatively quickly. 55% chance to deal 145% damage and increase it by 1% per level, so 195% altogether. Damage to two random enemy squads within effective range. Effective range of 4 a 70% chance to dodge when getting attacked next time. What? All right. Yeah, that seems normal. Okay. Yeah, I accept. 65% chance to attack three times. Each attack randomly selects one enemy squad within effective range to deal 82%. Add in special ant skill. Damage. If it hits the back line, the additional damage the enemy's skill dealt can be reduced by 30% next time. What? That's 30% of total damage just reduced. Excuse me? Hello? What designer sat down and thought that that was okay? Oh, that's insane. Skill 2, skill four, 5. Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Skill 8. Deal 81% damage, sorry. Deal 135% damage to all enemy squads in rounds 2, 4, and 6. If the targets are shooter squads, the damage rate will be doubled. Not a chance, not like a 25% chance to land, not a 50% chance to land. Just does it. I'm sorry. All in one ant. I guess guardians are aggro now. Y'all. Okay. That's the new special ant. I think he's insane. I'm really excited for him. I hope someone gets him and plays around with him and is able to share data with me. <sighs> Looking at the fact that Proata is placed here next to brown rogue and white velvet instead of with the other guardian ants like dark hercules is which is the hundred dollar ant uh and <sighs> knowing that it's skill three and four match white velvet skill three and four i think it's gonna be a 500 dollar ant i hope it's a 100 hundred dollar ant and i wish it were hatchable uh yeah You guys, I do like some of the steps the game's taking towards free-to-play. I think that it's good. I think that it's fair. I have a consumer request. One of your fellow viewers was like, Hey, could you ask? Well, he was like, only if you want to. I'm not going to ask you to ask that. But uh, would you guys be willing, if you have a two-star Banshee Panda, talk about your experiences in my Discord um, they are very curious if Banshee Panda is worth starring up. Uh, Banshee Panda obviously costs another $100 in order to stand up, star up, so that's $300 USD to star up. And they're curious if it's worth that $100. They've heard that 
it's almost like it is pre-nerf. Uh, so if you guys could talk about your experiences in my Discord, even at me, tag me, I'd love to know you guys. Thank you, Mikna, for sharing all of the data. Very few people would be willing to do that. Uh, he's not the only one, though, that shares data. Stan, 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 as I showed you, shares data all the time. Uh, there's multiple people posting. Uh, Stan, Stan, Stan has his own YouTube, has his own Discord. He doesn't need to be helpful. He doesn't need to let me do this, but he does. Uh, that just shows how good of a person he is. We got two huge whales. I mean, to me, they're huge whales. Arconis is the, like, budget selective person in the whole entire wide world. He'll set up a budget for you. You tell him you got two pennies to rub together, he'll figure out your budget. He'll figure it out for you. Anti is like, man, if I could buy a house or I could spend money on this game, why don't I do both? Uh, Anti is amazing. He's incredible. He has the highest power in the entire game. And uh, his stats are insane, you guys. Uh, he's also very willing to talk money about, uh, about where to spend, where he doesn't think you should spend. Uh, he's willing to help. He's willing to show stats. He's willing to show things like where things upgrade. He's willing to show what his stats are. So is Arconis. Um, this chat, I mean, I talked about it a bunch. I plan on making a video about what I learned from Arconis uh, in the near future. But I really think that there's really beneficial things inside my Discord that can help you guys out in ways that I needed help. So, uh there's all, all sorts of different tabs. And if you need a different tab made, you know, you can always DM me and I'll consider it. Not all tabs are gonna get made, but uh, I think I, I think that there's a lot of good conversations and a lot of knowledgeable, willing to share people in this Discord. Again, huge shout out this time to Stan 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 and Mikna. Uh, they both played integral parts into this video. All right, you guys, as always, you can find me in the YouTube comments. I think I'm getting better about it. You can catch me on Discord. Best place to find me. As you can see, I talk in it myself. I'm learning in this Discord all the time. Don't come in here and be like, at Umbra's Darkness, I only want to be answered by this person. Easiest way for me to never answer you. I promise. Uh, there are a bunch of people willing to help. If I read something that I disagree with that I think is stupid, I'll correct. I'll say, state my opinion. There's other people that will do the exact same thing. There are not bad, malicious people in this Discord yet. Now that I'm saying that, someone's going to join and be a troll. But um, I really think that this is a safe place to go. I think it's more interactive and uh, safer than other Discords uh, for the same game. Or, worst case scenario, you guys can catch me on server 193. For my 193 players, um, I love you guys. I enjoy the I enjoy the server a lot. I really appreciate all the care and support you guys give me. Um, thank you guys for that. Uh, as much as I enjoy it, I'm going to be honest. Uh, Naya having that love and support is way more important to me than me having that love and support. So, uh, if you understand what that means, you do. If you don't, okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> sorry. Until next time, you guys, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Bye, y'all.